Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Mr. C's Tips and Tools. Today, I would like to show you how to make an activity in Seesaw that you can uh, use pictures and you tell students to drag and drop to different areas to sort probably. Uh, this activity is pretty much designed for younger children who are not able to uh, perhaps read or write yet, okay? So first thing is, um, now I'm in Seesaw, and the first thing I have to do is make a background. So I, would, I usually like to use Google Slides. So now I've made a slide and it's just a background. So I've put in how many legs do I have and four legged or eight legged. And, and then later on around this area and this area, there will be pictures and students who just use their iPads and drop and drag different animals um, to the appropriate area. So now I'm done with this slide. So first thing I have to do is go to file and download. So download as, make sure you download as a JPEG or a PNG, but it has always worked well for me as a JPEG. So I'll continue to use JPEG. So I go ahead and download and I call it sorting insects and save. And here it is, okay? Now, the next step, I go back to Seesaw and I click the green plus sign. And I said, create or share activity. Now I'm here, I can go and create new activity with this blue plus sign. So this one will be sorting uh, mini beast. And you probably want to add a voice instruction, but for me, I'll skip that step. Or I'm, I'm more in, uh, concerned about showing you how to do this. So I go to add template. Now I'm here, I go select add file, and I just go ahead and drag and drop it in here. Okay, so you can see it's in there. I'm happy, I click tick. Now, the next step I have to do is um, to add the pictures. So this part is actually a workaround because in Seesaw, you cannot drag pictures. So what I've figured out you can do is actually use emojis. So it's not 100%, you can't find everything you want but there are enough to choose from, okay? So now for that part, I will go to, uh, go to the iPad to demonstrate to you, okay? So this is a two-part process, all right. Hello, now I'm on my iPad, and as you can see, I'm in my Seesaw demo class, just like before. Uh, one thing I have to mention is earlier, while I'm on the computer, make sure you press the, uh, the green tick sign on the upper right corner and then at the bottom right will say save you have to click save in order to come back so now i'm on the ipad i go to share my activity and i go to my library and here it is otherwise it won't show up as sorting many beasts because um it has not been saved so now i can open it up now i click the three dots right here and i go to edit activities so, and then I select the template. As you can see, this is the template. Now, what I need to do next is I go to labels. So there are a few ways to do this that I have found out. First, let's just go to emojis. And let's say I want to add, are there any animals? Okay, so four-legged or two-legged, uh, four-legged or eight-legged. So let's see. I have uh, this one, okay? And then let's add another one. Um, maybe this one. And Uh, 
and I'll just add one more and I'll add gecko all right so I'm done but now as you can see this is not um, you see there's a white back background so what you can do is select and then it will say style select that and the uh, the top right corner right here says sample select this one and now it's transparent Okay, so um, in addition to these, oh, and you can also make it bigger if you want. Okay, so in addition to these, there are also other ones that you can choose from. Um, I have found a few in this, this website right here. So there's this website called Alt dash codes.net and we have let's say we have fish uh, snail butterfly spider mosquitoes also you can go to the top and you, as you can see on the right side there are animal symbols food emojis so there are other things to choose from okay maybe you want to do one as fruit uh, there's an other emojis cool symbols so let's just select one for you uh, and try it out. Let's say I want to object nature animals. And I want it as a not much to choose from, but maybe a lady a ladybug. So I copy and I go back and I could just Oh, there it is, paste. Okay. And how about the other website? This one. Um, let's not do grapes. Let's go back to animals. And let's select a... A scorpion. All right. Copy. And mm. let me just move that over here. back and paste okay so I'm done and once you're done you can go ahead and s select the green plus sign and it is being uploaded so now I've s I'll press the green button save Make sure you do that. So now my assignment is ready to be shared to my class. So I can press share and you can choose your class. Let's just go to my Seesaw demo class and I share it. Okay, so it is being shared. So now I will show you what the student's version will look like. Okay. Now, as you can see, on the right it says seesaw demo class student i'm a student i'm in the student account so i go to activity and sorting mini beast so i go ahead and add and i choose i am Z at mobile so here's my activity so when you select you cannot these won't move right now okay as you can see it's just writing so I can go ahead and erase it for a student he or she will have to go to the T at the bottom for text because these emojis are actually text so now I can move it around so it's this eight-legged four oh, and then this one's four 
Oh, this one's six. This looks like six, eight, six. So maybe I should have done it as four, six, and eight, like it. Okay, but my point is, this is how to do the activity. All right, thank you for watching.